And now, Fox 13 meteorologist Valerie Mills with your Sky Tower radar forecast. We'll start you out with a look at your marine forecast for today and tomorrow. It certainly is going to be beautiful out and along the water. That's a good way to beat the heat as we are talking. Regina was just telling us all about it. We have heat advisories today that includes pretty much our entire area. A lot of summer like heat as well as humidity today. But as far as waters on the bay, smooth Saturday and Sunday. Seas running one foot or less. We'll have east winds. Those will come in out of the south later on today. Only about five knots for your Sunday southeast winds to start things off coming in out of the south as we head through the afternoon hours. High tide hits today, two o'clock on the dot. We'll have a low tide, 1019 for tonight. Overall, Nice out on the water so far. Here's a look overlooking the River House Palmetto. You can see really calm waters. It's really been nice boating conditions for the last few days. So great as we factor that in with the holiday weekend. But notice the heat index. It's already about three degrees warmer at this point in the morning. Just goes to show what that humidity does. And that's just going to continue to skyrocket even more. How about this shot? This camera, always one of my favorites as the sunrise is coming up. We really just got some beautiful views at this point in the bay. Nice sunrise hanging low on the horizon there. 83 is the temperature. We've got southeast winds about seven miles per hour. So where we're going to be dealing with the most extreme heat today across the state, right along our local coastline up to the nature coast and most of the panhandle today going to be dealing with that very excessive heat, making it a lot harder on our bodies when it feels like 108 to 111 out there. Then we'll look ahead to Monday, Tuesday. Notice we're starting to pull back some of these reds here on the forecast board. Those are where we're really going to be dealing with the most heat. So then we'll look ahead to Tuesday. We're actually going to start to build in some higher rain chances. But look what that does all across the state. That's going to pull back all of the extreme heat. So at least we'll get a break from that. And even our high temperatures here kind of going to bounce down just a bit. I mean, a couple of degrees at this point in the year makes a big difference. So we're going from about the mid 90s today to really close to average, possibly even right around 89, 90 degrees for some spots early next week as the rain chances will start to build in. So as for any rain chances for today, dry through most of the day by around noon, a couple of isolated showers and storms will start to pop up. Those will kind of push their way inland through about the five o'clock hour. But notice just how spotty in nature, not all of us will see it and I actually think we'll be dealing with some heavier rounds of rain later tonight closer to sunset and beyond looks like we'll get kind of a wave of some of those moving through the area so into the overnight hours actually could pick up on some additional rain and over the next week or so we will be talking about a steady on and off shower activity during each and every day we're talking rain chances so overall we could be stacking up some pretty decent rain accumulations here over the next week then as we zoom out look at all of the rain expected to move on to the coast of Texas. Even inland parts of Texas going to start to ramp up those rain accumulations. That's as we're tracking, tracking rather now tropical storm barrel. We do expect this to continue to strengthen today and tomorrow as it approaches the coast of Texas. That will likely become a category one hurricane before it makes landfall somewhere around the coast of the Corpus Christi area. We will talk much more details about that storm. We'll have another look at the track map coming up next hour.